Hey, what's up? What's going on, everyone? Um, I'm going to quickly go over some of the front end components that Harvest is built with. Um, oh, let me just turn that one off. Um, Harvest is embedded in addition to being um, about WebAssembly and compiling WebAssembly from C++, it's also got a React uh, interface component. Um, and I'm going to go over how some of these pieces are built um, because it's going to allow us to interface with the miner. Um, it's going to allow us to give it commands, tell it when to load the file, uh, when to stop, um, when to start. It'll even show us the total hash count um, and the average per second. And so currently what's running is CoinHive, um, but I've wrapped a React application um, called Mining Interface that's within the repo under Containers Mining, so if you want to check it out. Um, and what this does is essentially uh, communicates with the Redux store and, and manages the state for the interface. And so let's just go ahead and take a look at it uh, real quick. So if I hit load, this is going to go request from CoinHive uh, the JavaScript and the WASM files that are required um, to run mining in the browser. Nothing has started yet. Um, it's just initialized. And why this is a two-step process is because initialization might um, want to happen after someone has logged in. Um, so that way you can associate uh, a user with the mining that they've done in the software. And actually what we just noticed is uh, the clock went off and it's watching for my inactivity. And so if I'm inactive on the website, uh, mining will actually go ahead and begin. And so we're going to see the hash count and my average rate per second um, go up every 15 seconds. And then by the end of this video, we're going to push a new commit that's going to add a button uh, that allows you to update the statistics. Um, so let's go ahead and take a little, let's go take a look at the code that's running this. So I'm going to hop open to uh, the harvest repo, and then I'm going to dig into the source file. Uh, and this is where most of the, the front end stuff lives. Um, actually, the, all, all the app and then the interface um, components and containers live in the interface folder. And so because this application is, is complex, it's not a basic component. It's a container. It's got more pieces. And then within the containers, it's in the mining folder. And then these are the different uh, containers that we're going to control mining for now. And so if we open up mining interface, and we're going to take a look just at the rough uh, component that's being rendered. And then later, we'll look at the container that's wrapping it, um, and then how we're interacting with uh, Redux and Apollo and you know, getting the information that we need. So the render part, though, all we're doing is basically asking for information uh, from the miner that has been loaded via CoinHive. And that's being done through all these functions that are being passed down through props through the rendering component. Um, and so some of them control actions in the interface. Other ones get information about um, like hashing averages and the, how much you've done completed so far, um, how many threads are open, that sort of thing. And so what I'm going to do is take a button that I have in another project. And because currently right now, we don't have a way to um, manually update the interface. It just updates every 15 seconds. And so you'll see this uh, notification on the top right. It actually, when I came back to the website, it knows that I'm busy on this thread, that it needs to stop mining, um, and that it's more important for me to be able to interact with the website as opposed to the miner running constantly. Um, so anyways, we're going to add a button that's going to go right here that allows you to update the statistics um, as you want. So we're currently on the live website, um, the GitHub one. I'm going to hop over to the local repo so we can see what's going on over here. Um, and then hop back to the code. And then I'm going to add the button right above our automatically updates every 15 seconds. Um, and I'm going to add a button that has three uh, function properties. And these uh, props 
send up the delegation chain um, their actions are dispatched to Redux, and then Redux interacts with Sagas, and then the Sagas uh, interact with the miner, and then based off of the information there, it gets passed back to us. So that's what's happening. Uh, so if I go ahead and hit save, and then I hop back over to uh, the local host, actually, let's go to the terminal real quick. Um, we're going to see right here on the right, uh, the build server is, is recompiling the save, and it's going to add the button. This happens relatively quickly, um, usually a little bit faster than that. But now if I hop back over, we're going to see this new update mining statistics button. Um, oh, the run sagas. I can't do a hot reload with sagas. So we're going to do a, a refresh real quick. <clears throat> and so on the website, nothing's been initialized. Uh, we're going to have to reload the script and then... I'm gonna start the mining now, and then I can immediately start getting information back about what's happening um, in my browser. And it, and it kicks off really quickly. The miner, I mean, doesn't wait a second, doesn't miss a beat. Uh, so this is just a quick introduction of the mining interface. We're gonna take this and like boost it up a lot more. This is just a basic demonstration for um, what you can make, and then also we're going to experiment with being able to embed something like this directly into any website, just like with one little line of JavaScript, and it's going to embed itself. Um, so that should be pretty cool. But so if you have any questions about how this works, how the containers, the components, Redux, Sagas, um, how they're all chained together, because it's a little convoluted, like it doesn't make sense when you first look at it. Um, so if you have questions, you know, like just you know, find me on Twitter. That's probably the, the easiest. Um, yeah, that's it for now. Thanks, guys.